Yeah, and I actually cut myself with a with an axe. Uh, yeah, a little bit deep. I have to use this uh, to stop the bleeding, but that means I can't continue here today. I'll see if I can continue um, another day so you can have your video. But uh, yeah, I think I have to go home and attend to this wound. Yeah, and after five days I finally got the time to get out in the forest again. And you can see here my wound is healing up nicely. Uh, but you can see in this picture how the bandage looked when I got back home. I drove uh, an hour from the forest and uh, during that hour it bled, bled so much. But uh, when I get home, got home, it had stopped bleeding and I could just put in another bandage. And this is uh, the final one. Um, so yeah, it will heal fast, I think a couple of days and then I'll be ready. Uh, but now I'm going to continue my video and uh, start setting up my tarp.
Yeah, hello and welcome to Gimba Bushcraft. Yeah, it's a little special video this week because, as you saw in the beginning, I was in another forest. I actually went to my black forest up north in the northern part of Jutland, and there I cut my finger with my axe, and it was a deep cut. It did bleed very much, so I had to go home and uh, attend to that wound. But now I'm back. And uh, this time it's in uh, Hammer Hills, a uh, very nice little place I found here. It's a little bit windy today, so I went into the forest. And uh, you'll see in the footage later that you can see I'm very in a dense forest here. So, yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little video and I'm glad you joined me. I'm going to prepare a meal. Uh, I have a subscriber that asked me if I could make a vegetarian uh, meal uh, because uh, they don't eat meat and uh, yeah, I'll do that and uh, together with that I'll tell a little bit about the Vikings, their use of ingredients for their cooking and uh, also about the meat they used, uh, how they prepare it for lunch or for dinner. So yeah, well we had some uh, very nice weather in Denmark here the last couple of, of uh, weeks and um, Sunday when I was out in the forest it was uh, yeah let me see what it's called spring equinox I think uh, it's the time of the year where the night and days are equal length uh, here in Denmark it's uh, it was uh, Sunday and now uh, it is longer days more sunshine and less darkness so we're going in the right direction and I really appreciate that and looking forward to that so yeah now I have to find some firewoods and uh, prepare my fire uh, yeah. and tell you a little bit about that. I'm going to hang my pot up in a tripod uh, today because I have this tarp with me and I will explain the tarp uh, a little bit later.
you see the smoke? And uh, this is what is going in my, my stew, uh, carrots, onion, uh, garlic, uh, cabbage and some parsley I think it's called. So I'll start with the garlic and the onion and uh, fry them in some oil and then put water in and then the uh, carrots and the cabbage and uh, last the um, parsley. And of course, uh, I'm an I'm an meat eater, so I'll add some meat to this dish. But the Vikings used a lot of these ingredients, and especially the cabbage. Yeah. Some oil in. And then the garlic and the onions. Let them fry a bit.
and then some salt. Oops, I almost forgot I have some dried mushrooms in this jar. Some mushroom I harvest in the autumn. And now uh, I'll put them in and let them cook together with. And uh, of course, I use my little uh, fire bowl. With a tripod, uh, one I designed myself, and now uh, there's a Kickstart project. I put a link in my video description if you want to get more info about this uh, new product that I will uh, do together with the company called Cuny. Uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a success. I like using it, it's very safe and very easy to set up. So. I hope you are interested in uh, getting notification about this and perhaps sometime in the future when it's on the market you'll consider buying it. Yeah, and uh, this type you can see here uh, is from Maltus, uh, and it's a wool tarp, 100% wool. And um, yeah, I got a tarp that was 2.5 times 1.5 meter, uh, and I asked him, uh, Thomas, if he could make a bigger one. So he made this for me, uh, 2.5 meters in square, and it's an awesome uh, tarp. Uh, and they have them on their website and of course I put a link to Maltus and all their things uh, This tarp is big enough so I can sleep under it out in the forest and uh, yeah, I love it And I'm very grateful that uh, Thomas uh, was uh, willing to make uh, this uh, size because I think it'll be a bestseller And beside that he sent me this a little lantern uh, made of wood and uh, and rawhide like the lanterns I made myself and in here I can put a candle in and hang it up uh, when I'm out and making an overnighter yeah it's so cool and this lantern is also on their website it's very nice handcraft it's uh, top quality I can tell you and uh, it's better uh, quality in the rawhide than I can uh, get from the dog bones I'm using. So uh, yeah, go in and check them out, Maltus. Now I'm going to light this up and hang it over here, just uh, to show you how it looks in the camp. Yeah. I don't think you can see the light in it because it's daylight here, but you get the picture. Now I hang it up over my top here. This is really old school. Yeah, I love it.
Very delicious, I must say. Even though there's no meat in this, it tastes very strong and I like it a lot. But I got some dry meat I can eat together with this. I could also put this in the stew and let it cook together with the vegetables, but it's just as good as eating here together. Mm. I'm going to take the rest here and uh, begin cooking my water for my um, for my coffee. Just have to clean this a little bit. That'll do. Oops, yep. Time for coffee. It's boiling.
Yeah. And I said I will talk about uh, the Vikings and the meal that uh, they had, the ingredients. They used a lot of cabbage, as you saw in my stew, and also carrots and onions and garlic and uh, so on. And um, yeah, most of the Vikings were living near the sea so they could catch fish and they ate a lot of fish there but they also ate beef and uh, a lot of uh, pork. Pork was the uh, main thing in the Viking Age uh, regarding meal or meat. So, But uh, one thing that I've read uh, that I have thought about a lot is the Vikings uh, seldom cook their uh, meat over the fire uh, like a grill or so. But they used to uh, come it in the uh, stew and boil it. And the reason for that is if you uh, prepare your steak uh, or your meat uh, on a grill or uh, over a fire, a lot of the nutrition that is in the meat will go down in the fire and just disappear. So if you come the meat in water and boil it together with your vegetables, then you have all the uh, important things that is in the meat, the fat and so on. And uh, so they uh, used the meat 100% by cooking it. So most of the uh, meals that the Vikings uh, had was cooked over the fire in a bowl or something. And uh, then the meal was very nutrition and uh, very healthy. So uh, yeah, I didn't know that, but I read it somewhere. I think it was on Ribe Viking Center. Uh, I read that um, and it makes sense for me because if you uh, are uh, cooking your meat over the fire a lot of the nice fat and other things will drip down in the fire and then you will have none of that. So they cook the meat uh, mostly uh, pork and fish and so on together with vegetables. So yeah. It's been a wonderful day out here in the uh, Hermer Hills. Uh, I find a place where there was not much wind, a little bit, but that was good too because uh, the fire I have uh, made was a little bit wet, the wood was a little bit wet, so the wind uh, made it uh, burn more efficient. Yeah. And um, uh, in not so long time, um, my work situation will change again. Uh, the work I'm having now is stopping. It's only a temporary uh, employment here. And then I'll probably begin to make my videos once a week again. And I'm looking very much forward to that. It's a little bit stressful when I have to use uh, the weekends for making my um, videos and editing and so on. It takes a lot of time. So I'm uh, looking forward to the spring where I can have some more hours out and uh, of course I can make a video every week for you. I hope so. And um, again, my fireball, if you're interested in that, go in and check the uh, website out and the link I put in my description uh, so you can uh, get notification about uh, the progress. In. And I think we are uh, almost ready uh, to um, try the, the first uh, sample of the of the fire bowl yeah i'm looking very much forward to that so um, soon i'll be uh, posting a video about that yeah and i haven't got Cornelius with me on this uh, video because i'm afraid of the fire that he will go into that and uh, burn himself so i'm planning of like making a little fence or something i can put around my fire bowl so he'll won't be close to the fire and perhaps burn his little fur. Uh, yeah. And uh, beside that, he's a little bit, uh, he's a little bit too young uh, for the long hikes. So, but I'm looking very much forward to taking him out in the forest again and uh, see how he reacts when I'm making food out here. I think he's, yeah, he's a very hungry dog. So. <laughs> He likes to eat the things that we are having too, and uh, I allow him to do that. And when I'm out here, uh, this stew I make today, 
I made before, almost the same, but I put some um, bacon in, and I know he likes bacon, so I'm sure he will uh, think that is delicious, a little meal out in the forest uh, with bacon. Yeah. Yeah folks, this is all for now. I hope you enjoyed this little video uh, from the Hammer Hills here in the northern Jutland. Now the sun is going down uh, by the trees and uh, soon it will be darker. I have to head home and uh, yeah, have my weekend together with my wife Gitte and my little friend Cornelius. Thank you for watching Kiva Bushcraft. I really appreciate that and welcome to all the new subscribers to my channel. I hope you enjoy my other videos too. I had a lot of uh, videos regarding bushcraft and um, my series Bushcraft from A to Z uh, covers a lot of issues about the bushcraft uh, and uh, things that you may be find interesting. So check them out and then I hope to see you again on the next one. Bye bye and take care.